meaningful change always begins from the ground up, and the president, once like those he addressed today, underscore the crucial role grassroots leadership plays in nation building. And in this case, attaining the 17 sustainable goals identified by the United Nations by 2030. Our Kenneth Pashenta has more on today's Mayor's Forum in this report. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. emphasized the significant role of local government units in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs set by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. The target is set for 2030, including the aim to alleviate poverty and hunger as well as improving access to proper health, education, equality and more. During the Philippine Mayor's Forum, the Chief Executive said these goals can be attained with the help of local governments stating the crucial role of LGUs in addressing community issues. We are talking about global issues here, but nonetheless, we depend on the local government. Maganda yung maraming magandang salita sa national huhusay na speech, maraming mga display. Pero ang pagsak niya, ang punot dulo niya ay kayo, ang ating mga chief executive, local chief executive. Dahil Kung hindi nyo, ma, hindi nyo ma, kakaya, wala kayong kakayahan na gawin lahat ito, you know, that what will happen, we will not reach down to the ground level. And that's what, that's what we count on local government to do. The President also stressed the support of LGUs is crucial in achieving the SDGs, as this would expedite the implementation of the Philippine Development Plan, which serves as a blueprint for the country's development planning. Local mayors gathered to find effective ways to achieve various SDGs in their areas and ultimately across the entire nation. Let us make good use of this forum. We are, we, it, is, uh, it is going to be a very effective multiplier in terms of the efforts that we bring. And uh, the, the, the support that the United Nations brings now to this effort is going to be a, uh, will, will accelerate that and will, capacit will accelerate the capacity building of our local governments. The president also assured the national government would continue to support LGUs in achieving sustainable development goals. Lahat ng kailangan natin tulong ay ilalagay natin para harapin itong problema ito. And uh, this, uh, I believe, is uh, very, very important, especially in this day and age. The, this will strengthen, once again, the autonomy of our, uh, of our local governments. And it will give us a direction when we are now, which with the governor uh, Dax is here, but, uh, we are now putting together uh, the final implementation of the uh, Mandanas-Garcia ruling. That is, of course, relevant to all the local government uh, uh, executives. You are well positioned to drive change and implement effective strategies in achieving SDGs and contribute to that high growth path. The United Nations also commended the Philippines for its readiness to achieve the SDGs under the Marcos administration. We have jointly set the basis for a very promising partnership between these powerful and committed network of local leaders and the UN to localize the SDGs agenda and make a reality this noble aspiration of this administration. Meanwhile, the president signed RA 11964, also known as the Automatic Income Classification of Local Government Units Act. This law aims to empower LGUs to advance their local autonomy and realize their potential as LGUs. Under this law, Provinces, cities, and municipalities are classified based on their average annual regular income. The finance secretary is tasked, after coordinating with NEDA and the League of LGUs, to align the income ranges of these LGUs with their actual growth rate in annual regular income. Kenneth Pasciente for The Nation.